All right, so this is Grant from Spectre Racing. We're in a Porsche today, but it's not what you think. We're actually off-roading in some trails here in uh, in Florida with my friend Ash. He uh, he's got a you autocross regularly in 911. Yeah, 996. 996. I don't know Porsches that well. Um, but today we're out here and just seeing what this uh, good old C B here can do. And so this Porsche, it, uh, it's a, well, tell me a little bit about it. It's a 2004 Cayenne Turbo, almost entirely stock. Uh, mostly known for the ability to mall crawl with trophy wives at the helm. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to take it into its uh, engineer intended environment of light off-roading. It actually has some cool tricks up its sleeve. It's got airbag suspension, which is adjustable by about a foot. So we're on the highest ride height now for all the water fording. Uh, it doesn't have lockers front or rear, but it does have a center locking dip if you really want to put it in 4x4. It's got a pretty cool traction control system that works okay to simulate what a locker does. If a tire starts spinning independent of the others, the brakes will grab that wheel independently. It works okay, but you know when it comes on because ABS pump is really loud. But the most fun with this car is the 4 V8, which is twin turboed for 450 horsepower. I haven't really had a chance to get into some low traction services to see how much mud it'll fling, but I'm hoping we can do that today. <laughs> yeah, and you got the, uh, so the tires he has on this are actually, I believe they were designed for the 2017 Raptor, the, the BF Goodrich KO TA2s. Yeah, TA2s, yep. So yeah. they have a, a much better sidewall than the TA1s, which is actually the same tire I have on my old Expedition I used to tow the Mustang with, and my new Expedition had the same tires that he does. On this, on this uh, Porsche. <laughs> I've been really pleased with them on the road, actually. I, I thought I was going to be just driving off-road and on the beach with them, because I actually take some on the beach a good amount. And they do great there. Uh, but I was really pleased with how quiet and how good the handling was, so I just leave them on all the time. Go for it. All right, so we found a big open area out here in the forest here, and I brought some cones with me from autocross. So we're gonna set up a track and see what this Porsche can do with the dirt autocross. See so if we can get a little Scandinavian flick going, see if we can <laughs> rotate it around, get some sliding in. I uh, considered taking it out for some of the rallycross events, but I just haven't ever had the guts to do it yet. So maybe after today, we'll know how she'll do.
There were many things moving in the cabin. So that was it. We didn't get stuck. It was a little bit dicey here and there, but uh, the car held together, nothing broke, so. Only casualty was this seat back came unglued, <laughs> which has happened once before, so that's not really the off-roading's fault. But uh, yeah, she did pretty good. All right, so I'd like to thank Ash for uh, letting me come along and go off-roading and set up the fun autocross course and do the forging and the sea beef here, so. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.